Okay, Alan Wake time. Let's do it. Thanks for the tip, Computron. Yeah, that's a good tip too. Try avoid taking damage though in this game. <laughs> Those guys are assholes. <laughs> Help you folks. Name's Randolph. I'm the manager. We're looking for Rose. Works as a waitress down at the diner. Rose, sure. Nice girl. Who wants to know? I'm Alan Wake. The writer, huh? I heard on the radio you were visiting. Well, I'll show you her trailer. That Rose, she's a nice girl. Always pays her rent on time. As I was saying, Al, I found all sorts of weird stuff from the local newspaper's archives. This place is crazy. Disappearances, mysterious deaths, urban legends come true, and get this, most of this stuff takes place around Cauldron Lake. Well, you ain't wrong, mister. The Indians thought the lake was a doorway to the underworld. I'm the God-fearing type myself. I, I don't hold with that sort of thing. Randy's dogs. Yeah, mm. okay. Anyway, there was an island there owned by a guy called Thomas Zane. Now, some of the articles I found about him make him out to be a famous writer. But I ran a bunch of searches, couldn't find a single thing he wrote. Zane was heavily into diving, so much so that the place came to be called Diver's Isle. But the volcano under the lake erupted in 1970, and Zane went down with the island. Yeah, how about that? It was there in the morning, as if it had fallen from the sky. But it would take a tornado to lift something like that. We're damn lucky it didn't crush any of the trailers. Come on, mister. I'll take you to Rose's trailer. Doesn't look open. I'm fucking hungry for a dog! Just a week earlier, they were lovers. Dun dun dun. Sure, Jagger's a local spook store. The scratching hag comes for you in the dark. Childish stuff like that. Anyway, Al, I'm just getting to the best part. All of the articles about this stuff were written by Cynthia Weaver. I asked around, and she's that crazy bag lady you met. What? Mm. The lamp lady? She can be a little loopy, but she's not homeless or anything. <laughs> Anyway, she knew both Jagger and Zane before they both died, and she had some kind of a breakdown. Communication breakdown. Barry. Well, mister, this here's Rose's trailer. You mind me asking what you want with her? We're just here to talk to her, pal. All right. Welcome to... to... Oh dear, Mr. Wake. I'm... I'm so glad you're here. Rose, you have my manuscript? Oh. Oh, yes. Yes. Please, come in. Hey, this is really good! Rose. Yes? My manuscript. I really need it. I understand. I know what you need. A muse to inspire you. Oh, for Barry? She doesn't have anything. Yeah. Uh, hey, Al? Oh, what's... Oh. Uh oh. Barry! What? We've been duped, yo.
It's coming for you, hiding in my barber's skin. I'm too weak to stop it. You must turn the lights on. I promised I'd come visit you and your lovely wife. You must finish what you started. I insist. You must turn the lights on. Turn the on. Back to work, boy. I felt nauseous, hung over. Only anger kept me going. I can't tell reality from dream anymore, but it seems I have an imaginary editor to help me. She's an old woman in a funeral dress. I call her Barbara Jagger. She's very strict. I I'm writing faster and faster. My manuscript is being heavily revised. The edits are getting very aggressive, and each day there's less of me and more of her. I hate it, but I know she's right. She promises me I can save Alice this way. She knows more of this than I do, about the complex incantation I'm attempting, about this place. She's worked with another writer under similar circumstances, Thomas Zane. The genre of the story seems to be shifting. It's turning into a horror story. I'm getting close. I can feel it. Leave the trailer. Okay. Rose took a day from me. I had less than 12 hours left to meet the kidnapper. All I could do was get Barry into the car, work something out once I got on the road. Welcome to the Oh Dear Diner. What can I get you today? Coffee? I couldn't work up much hate for Rose. Something had used her to get to me and left its mark. First refill is free. Milk and sugar on the counter there. Would you like to hear today's specials? Thank you. Have a nice day. Come My gun and flashlight were gone. I'd have to find a way to get Barry into the car as quickly as possible. There was no time to waste. want to look for other manuscript pages. I doubt there are any, but you never, never know. This car was over past the gate, right? Stepped outside to catch a breath of fresh air. Let me tell you, the weather's getting heavy. Nights like this make me especially glad I'm here talking to you and not home in bed. Once, once the weather takes a turn like this, I can't sleep at all. It's all tangled bed sheets and dark thoughts. I'd like to explore. I'm sorry if this is annoying and boring. <laughs> but I'd like to explore, motherfucker! <coughs> Starting to get a sore throat. I'm really pissed off about it. Hoping it's just one of those quick ones that just, you know, wake up tomorrow, it's gone. It doesn't develop into something super, super awful. So it probably will. That's the way my luck's been going lately. 
lost my brakes on the van earlier this week. I had to put them right to the floor and it like just barely would, <laughs> would work. I had to drive like that for like two days before I could get it into the shop. Just got it back today and it's working great. But there's, you know, and I had some other stuff done to it too. There's 1300 bucks you'll never see again, right? It's so f everything's fucking annoying now. What you've done to that poor girl. This is Agent Nightingale, FBI. Get him up, Hemingway. You're under arrest. You move a muscle, I'll unload right in your goddamn face. Stay right where you are, Slane. Standing right here, you goddamn maniac! What is happening? I hated to leave Barry behind, but there was no way I'd miss my appointment with the kidnapper. Where the fuck am I supposed to go? I can't... Can I get up there? I this find somebody. was everywhere I went, the gun. circling me. The cops didn't stand a chance. They were after a writer, not a monster.
Whoa. I imagine that the broadcast tower in the distance was part of the local radio station. Maine seemed like a decent guy. Perhaps he could give me directions to the coal mine. Maybe something at the top of this. I could see the lights of the radio station in the distance. All right, let's get out of here. Natural shadows clung to the gate. The darkness that was after me was trying to stop me. I wouldn't get through without light. Destroy the gate? Something heavy up here, I can roll down the hill. Jesus. Too many different games I'm playing, right? <laughs> the old generator conked out. I'd have to see if I could fix it and try again.
kick. At least it's pointed the right way now. Jesus Christ. came down those stairs? Oh, that looks like they kind of go up. Yeah, no. I got a little visually distracted and confused there. It took me a moment to recognize the flashbang grenades. They were an ideal weapon for my situation. They dead.
BFFM with Pat Main. It's Milt Peabody, Pat. What's on your mind, Milt? Well, I live near the trailer park, Pat, and there's a big ruckus going on over there. Well, that's just up the road from me, too. Uh, what's going on, do you know? I don't know, but there's a bunch of police cars there, lots of sirens, a helicopter buzzing around, and I think I heard some gunshots. Gunshots? Milt. Good old Milt. Milt the stilt. <coughs> What's up, boyos? Suck on that, sons of bitches. Shit, now where am I? Oh. All right, fellas. All right, fellas. Oh, fuck you. Suckers. Oh. Here they come. Jackass. Oh, oh, you fucker, where are you? Eat it. Prick. The Rage Station. Ah, oh, for hell. Is that a manuscript page over there or a light? I'm always willing to look for manuscript pages when it's like calm and there's nothing going on, right? But when I'm fighting those guys, it's like, nope, fuck, who cares? Unless it's obvious and I can pick it up easily. Forget about it. I hope Maine could lend me a car to get to the coal mine. Pat Main. The main man. Okay. Not a manuscript page. Definitely a light. Okay. I had no idea how to get to the coal mine. Main would know. And I had a feeling I wouldn't get a chance to ask anyone else anytime soon. Oh, here's a 
guys. The famous writer Alan Wake just walked in. Folks, I'm gonna see if I can talk him into an interview. Come on in, Mr. Wake. Oh, I'm so glad you could find the time to do this, Mr. Wake. Nowhere to run now, Dan Brown. You back away from me. Dan Brown. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Everyone calm down. Put the gun down. We're all friends here, right? Cool your jets, Nightingale. We got him. Judas Priest! What the hell's the matter with you? There's a civilian in there. This guy is a complete ass at it. I had fallen off so many cliffs it was ridiculous. That's what you get for naming a book the sudden stop. It was probably good I hadn't had the chance to tell Maine where I was going. I'd have to lose the cops and find my own way to the mine. The train depot. Oh, fuck off. What happened to my flashbangs? Seriously. There was no sensible reason for the power company work lights to be here. It was almost as if they were left for someone like me to use. <laughs> Where did my flashbangs go? I'll get you yet, even if it kills me. You hear me? You hear me, H.P. Lovecraft? I had fallen off so many cliffs it was ridiculous. That's what you get for naming a book the sudden stop. It was probably good I hadn't had the chance to tell Maine where I was going. I'd have to lose the cops and find my own way to the mine. Fuck off. Nice. Where are you now, tough guys? Fucking assholes.
piece of shit. There was no sensible reason for the power company work lights to be here. It was almost as if they'd been left for someone like me to use. I got no <laughs> Whew, checkpoint. Checkpoint. Close to the train depot, at least. Barry? Hello? The most stubborn man I've ever met. Alice? Alice? Alan. Alan. I'm so afraid. It keeps me in the dark. Please help me. I look at you, Alan, and it's not you. It's something else. Looking out from behind your eyes. Alice, I'm here. I'm so alone here. It's all gonna go to hell. You need to be careful. Cooperate. The connection had been terrible, but that wasn't the only thing that hadn't been right with the call. She sounded wrong somehow, but she had called me. Telling me to go that way, but this way has some. What does it mean that they're letting me load up though, right? I didn't mean to shoot a flare. Wasted him though. I wish we picked up a new weapon, it would just keep you on your old weapon, right? Like
I know how many shots these guys take now, right? I could see a railway bridge up ahead and a warehouse of some sort on the opposite shore. I hoped I could find a car from there. Climb. 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 A weird language. The best one, but still weird. that was pursuing me was growing stronger and it was taking over everything in its path. I could find a car from there. Oh, for God's sake, I gotta do this whole thing again. You start me at the top of the ladder. Come on! that was pursuing me was growing stronger and it was taking over everything in its path. I could find a car from there. Hmm. Oh, shit, what am I doing? Do we shoot her? A flare gun at him? that was pursuing me was growing stronger and it was taking over everything in its path. Jesus.
As a teenager, just starting to get interested in writing, Stephen King had been a source of inspiration to me. I thought about all the inanimate objects that had come to life in his books. No one is safe in a good horror story, certainly not the protagonist. That's what makes them fun. This was anything but. The darkness could possess anything, and it was getting closer. Look at that old beauty. God damn you. What the fuck? Use the flashlight, nub nuts. Major just started to get interested in writing. Stephen King had been a source of inspiration to me. I thought about all the inanimate objects that had come to life in his books. No one is safe in a good horror story. Certainly not the protagonist. That's what makes them fun. This was anything but. The darkness could possess anything. And it was getting closer. <laughs> Piece of shit. Uh, Fuck me. <sighs> Teenager, just starting to get interested in writing. Stephen King had been a source of inspiration to me. I thought about all the inanimate objects that had come to life in his books. No one is safe in a good horror story. Certainly not the protagonist. That's what makes them fun. This was anything but. The darkness could possess anything. And it was getting closer. Curious. Okay. Get the fuck out of there, you penis! You fucking asshole! Move! Oh my god! Just starting to get interested in writing. Oh, Stephen enough King with this been a speech. source of inspiration to me. I thought about all the inanimate objects that had come to life in his books. No one is safe in a good horror story. Certainly not the protagonist. That's what makes them fun. This was anything but. The darkness could possess anything. And it was getting closer. Did 
Piss off. Okay, enough with the whole music. In the face, bitch. Checkpoint. Love to see that word checkpoint come on the screen. It's like phew. Here, let me 
me show you with a kiss. I, uh, I... <laughs> Some strange goings ons in this game. Oh. Alright, more guys down here, maybe? I guess there's gonna be another fight here. Jesus Murphy. Psycho. Ah, what the fuck? Where'd you come from? Batch them all. Uh, Fuck off. Where are you coming from? <laughs> 